Yeah. Maybe a big scruffy would be on the chair. <clears throat> I saw him about an hour ago on the ground. He came early. Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? I didn't think you'd be on the chair. So that's good. I'm trying to get you comfortable with the chair. So I'm hoping maybe I can pet you when you're on the chair sometime. So you ready for dinner? Did I wake you? So I have your meaty pate with real chicken and tuna plus kibble. So I'm going to try to repeat <clears throat> something like yesterday except uh, I'm going to try to escalate a little bit. So if you eat on the chair I'm going to try to get closer to you. And uh, and if you don't come back, I'm going to probably take all the food away, or most of it. I'm, I haven't decided yet. Okay, so anyway, why don't we get this started? <clears throat> so I'm going to pick up the food and bring it out, okay? So, coming through. Stand on the chair for a moment. Get the water. And I'm going to move the side kibble and put it on the. a little bit on the chair here. Okay. <clears throat> Close the door. So put the food on the table. And I'm going to change the water. Okay. Put new water in. Okay. So I'm going to sit in the chair now. Um, guess you don't want to jump up on the chair. Oh, I heard a meow. Hmm. Hey, you were quiet today. So it was a pretty nice day again. I think the temperature is probably about the same as yesterday and the day before. The sun did come out. You're really close to me here. You're rubbing against my leg. That should make it so hard to pet you. So, I didn't see Scruffy pretty much the whole day. Though I did catch him really, really early this morning on the big table. And then... <clears throat> yeah, I didn't want to wake him up. He was sleeping. So that was the last I saw of him for the rest of the day. So I woke up really early because I was having trouble sleeping. And then I had a dentist appointment today. And so my 
Gregor dentist, uh, I guess, was out today on an emergency or something. So they didn't tell me until I got there, but yeah, they switched uh, my dentist. So they had another one who works there see me. And uh, she's really nice. So. <clears throat> So I didn't have any problems. So I didn't get a whole lot done today. Basically, woke up early, tried to go back to sleep, and yeah, that didn't work. So I wasted a few hours just trying to go back to sleep. Then uh, tried to do some things this morning. And then, yeah, my dentist appointment was about uh, midday. And um, that actually took a little while. So, um, because it was a different dentist, uh, yeah, she's, I think she'd be an extra thorough, which was really nice. Um, so, since she, she didn't know my history, and so she was kind of checking everything very meticulously. And, uh, because, yeah, my, my teeth are, I don't know, they're, like, good and bad. It's, so, like, I don't have any cavities, so that sounds really good. But, like, I do have, like, <clears throat> um, apparently I clench my, uh, teeth. Um, that, uh, I've, I've kind of known this, but, yeah, particularly, like, when I'm sleeping, I'm just aware of, uh, uh, guard and uh, but my teeth show a lot of wear from all the, the clenching and then um, and then there is like um, erosion of en enamel and um, <clears throat> um, stains from my tea and so uh, so on one hand, yeah, I have really good teeth for the fact that I don't have any cavities, but on the other hand, there are other things that are not so good. So I usually, I actually request, uh, I go uh, three times a year instead of two just to preempt any potential problems. Because uh, I kind of made it this far without cavities and serious dental problems, so I'd like to keep it that way. So even if it means spending a little more on the cleanings, um, if it helps prevent the serious stuff, um, I'm, I'm happy. So I think Scruffy's getting ready to eat here. He's not being as uh, Aggressive with the running, uh, rubbing. I'll take that back. But yeah, we're getting close to time here, so we'll, we'll wrap this up pretty soon. So after I got back, I decided to take a recovery day. And I wouldn't go for a run or a bike ride. Because, yeah, it's been... So it's day five since my last break. So I've had, uh, I think I... Biked, then ran, then biked, then ran. And then, um... So today... 
It's a recovery day. So I haven't done pull-ups in a while, so I figured probably, probably should do that. Okay, Scruffy, ready for your food? <laughs> Pouring the kibble on the chair and letting them see it. Okay, so I got your regular food and there's more on the chair. And I wanted you to see that I was pouring kibble on the chair. So you know it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna brush you now. It's a bunch of leaves stuck to his uh, fur. And then let's see after the pull ups. I decided to go for a walk, so I did two laps at the park, and yeah, there was a good number of people out today, at least, you know, compared to the last year, so, um, looks like, yeah, there was a big uh, birthday party for, I think it was a child, looks like, yeah, a children's birthday party. And the family or the whoever, you know, they set up lots of big tents, so it was a really big party. And I think it I don't I don't think it was probably licensed or anything, you know, they didn't have permits or anything, I'm guessing. Um, but they were it looked kind of like a semi professional ad hoc. So they 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 were very organized, so they had I think six giant tents covering everything and then uh, yeah, each tent was broken up into a different uh, facility like uh, one of the tents was like they did their own ad hoc children's playground or uh, rumpus room or something so basically like they built their own little yeah, play, playground gymnasium for like little kids to play in. You know, a little they even fenced it off with like little colorful plastic uh, barriers under the tent. So they they really came prepared. Um, and then there was a big uh, stand or almost like an altar. I thought maybe at first it was like a wedding altar or something like that, but. I think it, I had trouble reading it because it's kind of fancy writing and some of the, the, from where I was looking, it was kind of obstructed. But I think it was, they were celebrating a child's fifth birthday. But uh, at first I couldn't tell if it was like a, a wedding because like, there's like an archway made of balloons uh, with that uh, sign with the celebration of the, I think, five-year-old. I'm gonna flip the brush. And then they had another tent, I think, dedicated for food. And then another tent, I think, for the food preparation. And then they had seats. And another tent. So yeah, they're very organized. <clears throat> A lot of people. Okay, I'm done with the brush. Hey, wow, you're almost done with the food. Ate fast tonight. So you made it messy. You got some food on the deck there somehow. So my legs got a little tired by the second lap, 
So yeah, I, I definitely needed a recovery a rest day. So I didn't push a third lap. I actually have a slight migraine today. Might be because I woke up so early. <clears throat> so yeah, so I was mentioning yeah, so when I woke away when I woke up this morning it was really early. Um, I think it was just after sunset or su sunrise. And uh, I saw Scruffy here on the big giant table and he was yeah sleeping. And I haven't seen him on this table in a while. So I have been waking up kind of early, but not not this early, so I don't know if he's normally sleeping here early in the morning now. Um, so I took a video of it, and then I left, and then I think I came back like an hour or two later, checked the window, he's gone, and then I didn't see him the rest of the day. Um, until an hour, yeah, about an hour ago before dinner, so I saw him you know, right on the mat, getting close to the door. And so he kind of lined up early for dinner tonight, and I think he saw me holding out the camera recording him. So when I opened the blinds today, and I didn't see him at the door, I thought maybe he got angry because I he saw me with the camera an hour ago and I didn't feed him. And then I noticed, yeah, he was on the chair. So so it might be a good thing that he likes the chair. So I might get me get comfortable with it, so I can try petting him when he's up there. Uh, last night after I came in, so yeah. Uh, so if you recall from last night, he tried to fake me out, and uh, he left. I I went in, and then he came back, and I kind of anticipated that, so I filmed him. So after he left again, um. I went back in, and I think, yeah, so I went back in, and I was taking off my heavy sweatshirts and my uh, heavy jeans, uh, basically my protective armor, my scruffy armor, and uh, he came back, and he sat in front of the patio door, and I think, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if he was hoping I'd come out again or what, but... It was kind of the end of the evening, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. So I just closed the blinds <clears throat> and turned off the light, thought he'd go away. Um, I was putting the dishes away, and then I heard a thump. And so he, I think he jumped off something. So I'm assuming he jumped back on the chair one more time to make sure there was no more food left, and then jumped off. Um, though he may have jumped off the big table if he jumped up all the way up there to check out the big table. But um, I don't think I, yeah, I think I would have saw him, because it wasn't that dark yet, so he was probably jumping off the chair. So he's kind of licking the bowl tonight. Yeah, he's not been very good about cleaning the pâtés. And actually, I'm looking at a piece of pâté right now, he's not, actually not doing that good cleaning it. He's doing okay, he's trying to move the ball. But I think you could do better, because this is the cat that was actually able to rub my skin raw and when he was licking the, the chicken grease off my fingers. And uh, I was bleeding because of the, you know, how much he was licking my fingers. So he should be able to clean that bowl if he wanted to. So I was going to clean up that... Uh, piece of uh, food that somehow got out of the bowl. So you jump up on the chair, get the rest of your food. So I'm thinking if he does, I won't try to pet him tonight, but then tomorrow I might try to pet him. He's going to do it. Mm. 
get the food. I don't know why you're pulling the chair. I want the food. Just jump up there and eat it. And you don't have to destroy the chair. Just climb up. Okay, I'm going to sit back a little bit. So I want him to get used to climbing up on the chair with me right next to him first. And then after he does, assuming he does that, then uh, I'll try to slowly move my hand to pet him. But I think, yeah, lot, the first time we did this, yeah, he jumped off the chair when I flinched and uh, made a motion to, to with my arm. So, and then the last two nights, yeah, he's not wanted to be on the chair with me near him. So I think tonight I need to be on the chair. I mean, I need he, he I need to be next to him when he's on the chair. So based on the fact that he climbed up that chair and he saw the food, I think if he doesn't eat the food and he leaves, I'm going to take all the kibble and bring it inside and that will be it for tonight. Okay, good. We're going to try again, huh? Wow, oh, you're not very graceful. So I was hoping to get a better look at his chest with that uh, torn fur, but yeah. But yeah. yeah I, I just, yeah, I'm not coming at the right angle. I can't see the, if he has exposed uh, skin. So I think there's actually some kibble under the cup. So I didn't plan very well. I didn't actually think he'd come up here directly. Um, I thought I'd have, I thought he'd leave first and then I'd move the cup. So I'll have to get better at this tomorrow. Oh, he really likes digging into that chair with his claws. Okay, I think he ate it all. Unless you try knocking over the cup. Okay, well I guess we'll call that progress. So he actually jumped up on the chair with me sitting next to him. So tomorrow the goal will be a repeat of that, but I'm gonna try to make a motion where he, uh, uh, I make a motion and hope he doesn't jump off. So anyway, I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.